Heavenly Father, hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You have relieved me in my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. We are instructed in your word to pray first for those in authority, that we may lead quiet and peaceable lives in all godliness and holiness. There is no greater authority we desire on earth to rule over us or within us than that of our great sovereign King, Jesus Christ. This one who is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength, he speaks in righteousness, mighty to save. Therefore we pray continually, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give the king your judgments, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son. Give to your servant an understanding heart to judge your people, to be able to discern between good and evil, for who is able to judge this great people of yours? For a throne is established by righteousness. He will judge your people with righteousness, and your poor with justice. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will raise to David a branch of righteousness. A king shall reign and prosper, and execute judgment and righteousness in the earth. In his days Judah will be saved, and Israel will dwell safely. Now this is his name by which he will be called, the Lord our righteousness. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end, upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The mountains will bring peace to the people and the little hills by righteousness. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. And mercy, the throne, will be established, and one will sit on it in truth, in the tabernacle of David, judging and seeking justice and hastening righteousness. He will bring justice to the poor of the people. He will save the children of the needy and will break in pieces the oppressor. With righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his loins and faithfulness the belt of his waist. The humble also shall increase their joy in the Lord, and the poor among men shall rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. They shall fear you as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations. The counsel of the Lord stands forever, the plans of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own inheritance. He shall come down like rain upon the grass before mowing, like showers that water the earth. He will come to us like the rain, like the latter and former rain to the earth. He will saturate us with holy influences, and all will flourish under his benevolent care. Let us repent, therefore, and be converted, that our sins may be blotted out, so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. In his days the righteous shall flourish, and abundance of peace until the moon is no more. He shall judge between the nations, and rebuke many people. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. He shall have dominion also from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion, shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you, he is just and having salvation lowly and riding on a donkey, a colt, the foal of a donkey. Those who dwell in the wilderness will bow before him, and his enemies will lick the dust. 
They shall lick the dust like a serpent. They shall crawl from their holes like snakes of the earth. They shall be afraid of the Lord our God, and shall fear because of you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles will bring presents. The kings of Sheba and Seba will offer gifts. Yes, all kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him. O desire of all nations, they will hallow your name, and hallow the Holy One of Jacob, and fear the God of Israel. You alone, Lord Jesus, King of nations, shall be ruler of all mankind. At your blessed and holy name every knee will bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. All glory and honor to your marvelous name, our righteous and reigning King, Lord Jesus.